I'm Christian Lamitschka and present you today Point of Grace. Hey, hey. Hi! <laughs> and there's the last hi. Hello! So, country music has many new fans in Europe who may be hearing about you for the first time. Yes. So how would you describe the music you play and yourself to someone who would never see or hear you before? Right. Well, um, it's the best thing that they'll ever hear or see in their whole life. Now I'm teasing. Um, actually, we've been singing Christian music for gospel music for about 15 or so years. And um, but we've always been big fans of country music. And, um, you know, we lived in Nashville for all of those years. And it can't help but kind of get into your blood a little bit. And so um, our last record was sort of like a kind of like a bridge record, you know, for us. And we had some songs on there that actually... Um, more singles at country radio as well as Christian radio and a lot of our songs really work in, in both places just you know lyrically speaking country music has a lot of songs about faith mm -hmm. and that's always kind of what we've done so we're just excited to you know hopefully share music with a, a lot bigger audience and okay yeah. you have a new CD we do. how did you choose the title title for the CD is there a story behind it Well, the title of the, the new CD is entitled How You Live, and it's based around uh, one of the songs that was actually on the record entitled How You Live. And, um, you know, once once we were finished recording all the songs, you know, you just kind of look, take a look and see the common denominator of what the record's about. And How You Live was just the best, um, it was the best summary of the whole record itself and so um, it can go in so many different different directions so that's that's how we came with, came up with the title how you live for okay. for the record so what was your big break that got you into the music business well actually we, we started singing in college and we act, we went to a Christian artist seminar in the Rockies um, at Estes Park Colorado and met a gentleman from Word Records and we've been at Word now over 15 years and um, and now are bridging with Warner Brothers who own Word Records so what has been your greatest challenge in music business our greatest challenge I guess um, when we started off singing together um, you know none of us were married and none of us had children and so we could just pack our bags and go and do as many shows a month as we wanted but now that we have kids and, and husbands or should I say husbands and kids in that order <laughs> we are a Christian group so that helps when you do the husband and then the kids yeah but anyway um, so I think the hardest part probably is just you know the traveling part of it I mean we love traveling but You know, it's never easy to leave your kids at home to go to work. I mean, even if you're just working, you know, every day from nine to five. But, you know, especially when you have to travel overnight sometimes. So that's probably, that's probably the hardest part. Just, you know, sort of balancing family okay. and... So, what can, your, what can your fans expect to see when they see you in concert? The best show on earth. The greatest <laughs> show on earth. No. <laughs> Well, you know, they, they'll hopefully see a show that brings about some encouragement and hope and um, just three girls that, that are really real with their audience. Um, we talk about some some things that we've struggled with as young women and, and we talk about things that, you know, just hopefully bring um, at the end of the day some really powerful uh, hope back to, to the individual. And we have a lot of fun. Uh, a, Acoustically, we have our, our band that comes out and joins us, and we do some oldies and but goodies. And um, because Point of Grace has been around for so long, we we try to squeeze as many of the oldies as we can in there. But um, we also um, just in recent days, you know, we'll we'll be we'll be hearing a lot of the new stuff that we're putting out that's really more country influenced. So there's a book named Dance. Dance Me Daddy. There is. <laughs> Folks, that you get an idea, that's the right present for Father Day. That's right. <laughs> so tell me something about it. Sure. Well, we recorded on our last record, How You Live, a song called King of the World. And that song was written by um, the author of this book, Cindy Morgan. And we fell in love with it because all of us have really special relationships with our dads, and it was kind of a chance for us to pay tribute to them um, from a daughter's perspective of their relationship to a dad. And so we had recorded the song, and um, when Cindy heard it, I think she just had an idea to combine a children's book. We all have kids, and she has 
children as well, um, that could celebrate that relationship. And so it's just a great tool for a dad to read with his daughter. And it has the CD with our song, King of the World, on it. But also Cindy reads it as well. So if you've got those beginning learner, you know, learning to read, it's a chance for them to kind of listen to the CD and flip through the pages as they read along. So it's a really sweet, sweet book for a, a little girl and her dad to read together. But also we think it'd be a great gift idea just to say thanks, Dad, for being such a great influence in your life. So what are your plans for the future? Wow. Um, well, we hope to continue doing this for many more years. Um, we're actually uh, in the studio right now working very hard on finishing up a, uh, a country record that uh, we're working with the producer, Nathan Chapman, who he has a... He's, also, he's kind of becoming a little bit of a household name as far as producers. He um, just uh, He's worked with Taylor Swift quite a bit and um, has had some success there. So we're hoping to finish this record up by the end of the fall. And um, if it's not out by the end of the fall, hopefully the new, new part of 2010. So that's what we're doing right now. So if music fans like to keep up with you, what's the best way? You know, probably the best way is to just go to our website, and it's www.pointofgrace.net. And we have a mailing list that you can sign up for there. And, um, you know, about once <clears throat> once a month or so, we'll send out a you know an email with a letter from us and just updates. And they can go there and get our concert tour and where we're going to be playing out and stuff like that. So that's probably the best way. So thanks for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>